In this tutorial, we are going to show a solved example on Huffman coding. So we have four symbols A, B, C, D, and we have the probability of each symbol. And what we are going to do, we will get the code for each symbol A, B, C, D. Now what we are going to do, we will put symbols based on probability in descending order. So we will start by the biggest number, which is 0.4, till the lowest number, which is 0.05. Now we will take the least two numbers in the probability like this, which is this number 0.20 and this number 0.05. And we will put 0 at the top number and 1 at the bottom number. Now we will add also these two numbers 0.20 plus 0.05. This will give you 0.25 like this. And for these two numbers 0.4 and 0.35, we will put them like this 0.4 and 0.35 like this. Now again, we will take the least two probabilities, which is 0.35 and 0.25, and put zero at the top number, one at the bottom number, and we will sum these two numbers like this. By adding 0.35 and 0.25, this will give you 0.6 like this. And for this number, 0.4, we will put it like this, and we are putting 0.4 below this number, because as we said, numbers should be in descending order like this. So this is the bigger number, and this is the smaller number. Again, we will put 0 at the top and 1 at the bottom. Now, since we have reached only two probabilities like this, which is this number and this number, we are going to stop. Okay? Now, let's find the code for each symbol A, B, C, D. Now, to be able to get the code for each symbol A, B, C, D, we are going to trace the path for each symbol and read binary numbers from right to left. So, let's see for A. We are going to trace the path like this. So, I will go with the line like this. And as you see, we are reaching 1. So I will write 1 like this. Now again for B, let's trace the path like this. As you see, we are reaching 0. And at the end, we are reaching 0 like this. Now read binary numbers from right to left. So we have 0, then 0 like this. So I will write 0, 0. Now again for C, trace the path. We have 0. We have 1, we have 0. Now read numbers from right to left. 0, 1, 0. So I will simply write 0, 1, 0. Now again for D, trace the path. We have 1. Again we have 1. And we have 0. Read numbers from right to left. 0, 1, 1. So I will simply write 0, 1, 1. And this is the final result.